world. We're here too. I'm Kate. And Emma. Today we have a special guest in our house. Come up here, girl. He's so oh. cute. He looks like a dog, but a little different. That's because he's actually not a dog. My friend Leo has discovered a way to mix elementum orbs and create mysterious creatures called Elemon. Akuro was the first Elemon Leo ever created. Oh wow! Can he do anything cool? Akuro was made out of two hydrogen orbs and one oxygen orb. Just like water is made out of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. So he can do anything water can. He can shoot water, he can stretch his body, and change his body shape however he wants. Oh, a girl, splash water. Whoa! <laughs> Can we keep a curl forever and ever? A curl? A curl is Leo's partner, Elamon. So at the end of the day, we have to return him back to Leo. But while he's here, we can do a fun science experiment together. Yeah! yeah. Since a curl is a water type element, I have the perfect experiment using water. I have two clear containers of water here. This one has hot water, and this one has cold water. If I put food coloring in, which one do you think will mix faster? I don't know. It will be the same because both of them are water. A curl, what do you think? Well, let's find out. Let's do it. Okay, get ready. Three, two, one, go. Whoa. 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 The hot water spreads the food coloring so much faster. Yeah. And also, the cold one is so slow. Whoa, the hot one's already done. And it looks like the cold one barely moved. It looks like you, Akira. Let me tell you why the hot water goes faster than the cold water. Here's why. Hello, everyone. It is I, Calm, your science companion. I am here to help Ryan explain how the food coloring moves faster in the hot water than the cold water. If we zoom way in on the water, we can see that it's made of lots of tiny parts called molecules. These molecules are constantly moving. When water is heated up, the molecules get more energy, so they start moving really fast, just like popcorn kernels popping in a microwave. When we added the food coloring, it got spread around super quickly because all those molecules were bumping into each other a lot. Meanwhile, the other glass being cold meant those molecules were moving really slowly. It took a lot longer for the food coloring to spread around because those molecules weren't bumping into each other as much. It's kind of like if you wanted to tell all your friends some big news. If everyone was running around talking to each other, your news would spread really fast. But if everyone was staying in the same place and not moving around, it would take a lot longer for the news to travel, right? This is called diffusion. And now, back to Ryan. And our experiment is done. What did you think, Akuro? Haku! <laughs> it was super fun. You can come anytime. Haku! Think wait, wait, stop the show, stop the show. Watching this gave me a great idea for another diffusion experiment. Plus, it's colorful. Ryan did a good job showing the diffusion rate of blue food coloring in hot and cold water, which got me to thinking, do different colors of food coloring diffuse at the same rate? So I said to myself, self, how could we possibly test multiple colors all at once? The answer was obvious, candy. We set up our experiment with identical patterns of candy on identical plates. Now, my assistant will pour an identical amount of hot and cold water. We learned in Ryan's experiment that the food coloring diffuses faster with hot water than cold water. Now, let's see how multiple colors do side by side in both temperatures. And they're off! Hot is starting off with a strong lead, and it looks like all the colors are diffusing at an identical rate. Remarkable! It only took 20 seconds for the colors to meet on the hot side. Cold seems to be taking a while. Hmm. Let's speed things up. Ooh. Ah. How pretty. Wow. It took three times as long for the cold water to diffuse the colors. Wasn't that fascinating? Well, we did get a big bag of candy. Plus, the water's already heated up. So why don't we try out some groovy patterns just for fun?
Wow, that was so much fun. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. Take it away, Ryan. Thank you for watching. Remember, always say happy and rise up. Bye!